Bioplastics are plastic materials produced from renewable biomass sources, such as vegetable fats and oils, corn starch, straw, sawdust, recycled food waste, etc. Bioplastic can be made from agricultural processed products and also from used plastic bottles and other containers using microorganisms. Common plastics, such as fossil fuel plastics also called petrobased polymers, are derived from petroleum or natural gas. Not all bioplastics are biodegradable nor biodegrade more readily than commodity fossil fuel-derived plastics. Bioplastics are usually derived from sugar derivatives, including starch, cellulose, and lactic acid. As of 2014, bioplastics represented approximately 0.2% of the global polymer market 300 million tons. Bioplastics are used for disposable items, such as packaging, cutlery, pots, and straws. Few commercial applications exist for bioplastics. In principle they could replace many applications for petroleum-derived plastics, however cost and performance remain problematic. As a matter of fact, their usage is financially favorable only if supported by specific regulations limiting the usage of conventional plastics. Typical is the example of Italy, where biodegradable plastic bags and shoppers are compulsory since 2011 with the introduction of a specific law. Beyond structural materials, electroactive bioplastics are being developed that promise to be used to carry electric current. Biopolymers are available as coatings for paper rather than the more common petrochemical coatings. A thermoplastic is a plastic polymer material that becomes pliable or moldable at a certain elevated temperature and solidifies upon cooling. Thermoplastic starch currently represents the most widely used bioplastic, constituting about 50% of the bioplastics market. Simple starch bioplastic can be made at home. Pure starch is able to absorb humidity, and is thus a suitable material for the production of drug capsules by the pharmaceutical sector. Starch-based films are mostly used for packaging purposes and they are mainly made from starch blended with thermoplastic polyesters to form biodegradable and compostable products. These films are seen specifically in consumer goods packaging of magazine wrappings and bubble films. Cellulose bioplastics are mainly the cellulose esters, and their derivatives. Cellulose can become thermoplastic when extensively modified. An example of this is cellulose acetate, which is expensive and therefore rarely used for packaging. However, cellulosic fibers added to starches can improve mechanical properties, permeability to gas, and water resistance due to being less hydrophilic than starch. Bioplastics can be made from proteins from different sources. For example, wheat gluten and casein show promising properties as a raw material for different biodegradable polymers. Additionally, soy protein is being considered as another source of bioplastic. Soy proteins have been used in plastic production for over 100 years. For example, body panels of an original Ford automobile were made of soy-based plastic. There are difficulties with using soy protein-based plastics due to their water sensitivity and relatively high cost. Materials such as starch, cellulose, wood, sugar and biomass are used as a substitute for fossil fuel resources to produce bioplastics. This makes the production of bioplastics a more sustainable activity compared to conventional plastic production. The environmental impact of bioplastics is often debated, as there are many different metrics for greenness e.g., water use, energy use, deforestation, biodegradation, etc. Hence bioplastic environmental impacts are categorized into non-renewable energy use, climate change, eutrophication and acidification. Bioplastic production significantly reduces greenhouse gas emissions and decreases non-renewable energy consumption. Firms worldwide would also be able to increase the environmental sustainability of their products by using bioplastics. Although bioplastics save more non-renewable energy than conventional plastics and emit less greenhouse gas compared to conventional plastics, bioplastics also have negative environmental impacts such as eutrophication and acidification. Other environmental impacts of bioplastics include exerting lower human and terrestrial ecotoxicity and carcinogenic potentials compared to conventional plastics. However, bioplastics exert higher aquatic ecotoxicity than conventional materials. Bioplastics and other bio-based materials increase stratospheric ozone depletion compared to conventional plastics. This is a result of nitrous oxide emissions during fertilizer application during industrial farming for biomass production. Another issue with bioplastics, is that some of them are made from the edible parts of crops. This makes the bioplastics compete with food production because the crops that produce bioplastics can also be used to feed people. Biodegradation of any plastic is a process that happens at solid-liquid interface whereby the enzymes in the liquid phase depolymerize the solid phase. 
Both bioplastics and conventional plastics containing additives are able to biodegrade. Bioplastics are able to biodegrade in different environments hence they are more acceptable than conventional plastics. Biodegradability of bioplastics occurs under various environmental conditions including soil, aquatic environments and compost. Both the structure and composition of biopolymer or biocomposite have an effect on the biodegradation process, hence changing the composition and structure might increase biodegradability. Soil and compost as environment conditions are more efficient in biodegradation due to their high microbial diversity.